Syphilis is a bacterial disease caused by the bacterium Treponema pallidum. The infection manifests itself chronically and is contracted primarily through sexual intercourse. However, cases resulting from the congenital infection of a developing fetus have also been noted. Linguistically, the disease originates from Latin. An old fable tells of a mythical hero named Syphilius, who is considered the first recorded victim of the disease. Syphilis manifests itself in four stages, referred to as the primary, secondary, latent and tertiary stages. The first period of this disease is indicated through the appearance of a single cyst that is typically firm and non-reactive. This cyst is usually painless and should heal completely after four weeks. Syphilis will most likely progress to the second stage if it is not treated at this time. The second stage of syphilis can last up to two years, introducing a severe rash that largely manifests itself on the hands and feet. With the third incubatory stage of the disease, latent syphilis, few symptoms manifest themselves. The third stage of syphilis only occurs in about one third of the infected and can occur between 5 and 20 years after the initial infection. The final, tertiary period brings with it the most severe symptoms, including gummus, non-cancerous yielding growths most commonly found in the liver, and more general physiological and psychological effects. Syphilis is always treatable, and this stage in particular is not infectious. At its more extreme ends and without treatment, Syphilis is capable of causing organ damage, paralysis, numbness, dementia, and gradual blindness. The combination of, this severe, of these severe reactions means that the disease is capable of being fatal. The disease, as a bacterial infection, can be combated and effectively treated using antibiotics, and as such, cases observed in higher socioeconomic areas are often non-fatal. Penicillin functions especially well in combating the disease, specifically the pharmaceutical benzathione penicillin G. Other drugs such as do doxycycline, tetracycline, ceftriaxone and erythromycin can also be used effectively. However, their effectiveness is significantly less than that of penicillin in combating the disease. Historically, the effect and lethality of the disease have been decreased dramatically through the widespread use of the previously mentioned pharmaceutical, introduced by Alexander Fleming in 1826. It is estimated that over 200,000 people contract the disease annually in America, and global infection rates determine the total number of people infected at 14 to 16 million a year. Clinical tests of the disease have been undertaken in the majority of practices. However, specific medical centers have also been created that offer a higher level of expertise. The tests themselves are carried out through the removal and subsequent medical examination of either blood or fluid taken directly from lesions and lymph nodes, 